Good morning, good people. All right, so uh, next project on the bike after the shield is to put saddlebags on it. Um, so to put saddlebags on it, I have to relocate the license plate and the turn signals and the brakes. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. Uh, this may be a one-day project. This may be a multiple-day project. Depending on how easy it goes. It's supposed to be a pretty easy, pretty quick uh, project. But we'll see. <laughs> All right. See you back to you in a second. All right. So most importantly, I've got the anti-stress elixir going for me. Uh, so it says securely place motorcycle on a motorcycle jack and unbolt the lower bolts on the rear shocks on both sides and lower the tire All right, so we've got her on a Jack I've got the tire up off the ground, but what I'm thinking about is I'm gonna lower the tire back till it touches the ground and Then loosen my shocks and then jack the bike back up. I think that'll actually work better Then remove the seat and disconnect turn signals and license plate connectors remove the turn signals and license plate light from the inside of the fender. And then uh, we'll go to that part next. And then we'll take care of that part when we get there. Oh, let's just do this then. I think this comes down a little bit. It's tire touching. Tire is just about touching. So let's go ahead and break everything loose. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and remove the fender or the seat from the fender. And what I'm assuming is, so license plate, left turn signal, right turn signal. And that is, I don't know, that's some other stuff. If I was smart, I would probably label these before I disconnected them, but I'm pretty sure the right one on the right side stays on the right, left on the left stays on the left. And if I get them backwards, they're just going to blink backwards and I, <laughs> I don't know which ones to fix. Alright, so the bolt for the shocks is a T50, and then on the inside the nut is a three quarter. Loosen these for now, and then we're gonna lift the bike just a little bit. The good thing about the fold-up license plate is it well, look, it 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 folds up. All right, I'll get my assistant to give the jack one little push smoothly. Okay, <laughs> too much. Can we do it up? No. What I can do is a crowbar to wedge the wheel. You have got to be kidding me. We're already gonna nail on this tire. Where the hell did I pick up a nail? I don't know, you live in it, you work in it industrial. Luckily I have tire plugs. Well, I know how to plug a tire, so I know what I'll be doing after this. <laughs> is this the brand new tire you put on? No, this is no, I've never changed this tire. Yeah, but I put the new tires on the BMW, yeah. I ain't gonna lie, this is kind of a stupid way to put a shock on. <laughs> that one didn't even have a washer on it. Luckily, I got some extra washers from Lowe's. This should fit it. Like you for me. tire out of the way. Now we can jack the bike up. And that should give us all the clearance we need. Well, we will be doing a tire plugging video next, because I sure as hell ain't gonna go get a brand new tire for a tire that's only got 2,000 miles on it. Alright, so up inside here, uh, 
this is the bolt for the fender and this small one right there is the one for the turn signal and on this side same thing on the other side the small one is the one for the turn signal so you want to take the small one off the one in the middle not the two on the end because then your fender ends would come off and we're not ready to take those off yet until we get ready to put the bags on so these rivets i'm trying to figure out where these rivets are that i need to drill out i think it doesn't have rivets anymore i think what it actually has is these little screws in the back of the light so i think we may just be able to screw those out i guess we'll find out all right i guess we'll see not exactly sure how much i need to keep taking off so i guess i'll just i'll keep going until uh Yeah, I guess I'll keep going until it comes off. I guess. Nine sixteenths. All right, so it looks like both of these do need to come off. Let me consult my my papers again. Okay, well. All right, so I guess this whole plastic piece needs to come off. The piece that's not really. <laughs> Not really metal, it's actually plastic. I got me there. It's just a plastic piece. Shame on you, Harley. Wow, what I wouldn't give for a right angle uh, pneumatic drive right now. I have one, I just don't want to break it out right now. <laughs> shock there and it won't push back through Harley what have you done yeah right at the bottom of the page they're like oh yeah by the way you got to cut these wires and extend them so one thing I do not like doing is cutting into factory wiring but they give you wire I have shrink wrap I guess I'm gonna cut some wire it's against my better judgment. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I'm gonna back up enough where I can always make up for it later. They give you all these butt connectors to re to redo this stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna use real connectors. I'm actually gonna solder them back together. All right, so this should pull out now. All right, so as it turns out, we do have to take off all of these side pieces here to get the brake lights and the cables out and the stems. So luckily I already had got the T40 on hot standby. So we'll go ahead and get everything else off here. I ain't gonna lie, I'm pretty upset with Harley. <coughs> for this to be so dumb. It's a pretty dumb way to build stuff. Is this spring loader or something? Shit. Look at these instructions. Yeah, you can't do it the way they say. Okay. I'm gonna have 
have to use my ice grips. You can't do it the way they say do it. I'm gonna have to use my ice grips. All right, so I've got the signal off for the right side so let's go ahead and put these plates back on okay and do the same thing we did on the other side taking off this side trim piece and it says to, to mark this and cut the so you can see this so to mark that and cut it off, but to drill out, I'm not sure if you can see these bolts up in there or not. Let me see if I can get up in there. So those two rivets right there, those two rivets right there, we've got to drill out to get this side plate off. And as of yet, I'm not sure if I want to do that or not. So that'll wait, that'll wait a few minutes. Until I decide that's if I really want to do that. Because I may be able to just get a saw and cut this off here. So let me get this side plate off real quick and we'll figure it out. And of course this turn signal is doing just like the other one did and not coming off at the nut. It's unscrewing from the bulb housing instead. I've already been through this once, I already know how to take it apart, so. Just keep trucking on. All right. So we're off. That side's off now. And ice grips again. If I haven't figured it out. I live really close to the airport in in Memphis. My wife says when I'm thinking really hard, I get my Homer Simpson lip out. Mmm. Morge. <laughs> so these videos, I don't actually ever think they'll take off at first. But as people start looking for this, this will be like my uh, Tom Tom 550 video and my other oil change and my my service reminder videos where they don't start getting popular, they don't start getting hits until people actually start searching them and then they end up being my biggest videos. I hope that's what happens anyway. Oh, you're coming out. Alright. I'm probably going to have to take all this back off when I do the saddlebags and the saddlebag racks, but for now I just want to do it one step at a time, figure out what I got, and I'll come back to it. I'd rather take my time on it instead of trying to rush ahead and see what I gotta do next.
All right, so just figured out. I had to take these bolts back out again, and then the top bolt to get this out. This is how you get this piece in here. I was trying to figure this out. This is the license plate support strap. And it does look like I'm gonna have to take these back off, get this on a table, and cut the rest of this cut the rest of this life support <laughs> this license plate support off all right okay taking it apart again for the fifth time it's just practice right you just get better at the things you keep redoing that's my story all right so now we got to drill out these back holes if I can get in there this is kind of ridiculous to get to. We'll do our best. I'm not sure how they expect you to drill these out. Alright, I had to bum through a lot of that. So it turns out, um, so to get this on, I had to pull this this off, take this off, pull this off of the old piece, saw the old piece off with a hacksaw, and uh, yeah, it got pretty crazy. Um, so now I just figured out that um, I need three holes for this: one for this for the for the alignment tab, one for the wire, and one for the bolt. And I only have two, so now I got to drill some more holes. So bear with me. Uh, I'm getting there. This is this is way more than I thought. I thought this would be the short part of this. I thought putting the bags on would be the hard part. Nope, it's the uh, turn signal relocation. So I'm I'm still working on it. But yeah, I got to drill through the license plate supports, run wire, and I still got to splice the plugs in. Uh, probably, I'd say probably a six inch uh, extension on every every one. So so I'm getting to that. So that's the part I'm still working on. So. All right, time to drill out some holes, I guess. All right, so we went up to a quarter inch. We're gonna try this, see if it's big enough. Quarter inch is big enough, but we're gonna go ahead and bevel the hole inside and outside. That way there's no sharp edges. Sure don't want to cut my cable. If I'd have known I had to do this, I'd have done this off the bike. It would have been so much easier. A little dab of anti seize because I sure don't want these things coming off. too long <laughs> okay I'm not sure what <laughs> bolts they want me to use that is not the right bolts it says they give me hex bolts with it um, I don't have didn't get any hex bolts with it supplied hex bolts what hex bolts I don't see any hex bolts it does say, warning, do not drill into the tire and smooth the edge of the hole. I did. I did not drill into the tire and I did smooth the edge of the hole. Good on me. Install the turn signals onto the newly installed bracket using supplied hex head bolts. There are no hex head bolts. These are the original bolts and they are not <laughs> going to go back in here. <clears throat> All right, let's see what we can uh, do to scavenge this project. So come to find out, the one wouldn't go in because there was gunk in the hole. And the other one's going on just fine. So we're going to go ahead and get that one on. And then I'm going to dig the gunk out of the other one, I guess. 
guess that's how we're going to play this. I still have to wire this thing tonight. Which could, should be the easy part. I shouldn't say that. Okay, we're tied in there. Now i got to get some kind of auger and dig the crap out of this other hole. Let's see if we can get this one on too. Somebody's out trying to blow up their scat pack. I'll allow it. Uh, there's some kind of rubber goo in these holes. Looks like paint. It's paint. I have a tap set. I sure don't want to have to use it. Not on the electrical part. Okay, we're through. So let's try the, the bolt that actually goes in it now. We didn't have all kinds of trouble trying to put it together. Would it really be custom? Hey, June bugs are out. They make you work for this, that's for sure. She's in. I'm not gonna put the shocks on yet. We'll go ahead and get this wire ran and then we'll put the shocks on. Film at 11. Let her burn for a little bit. Yep. Now we got a good fire going here. So we'll turn her down just a little bit for now. I'm just gonna tin these the old-fashioned way. That's one. Anybody that's going to comment, I already know. i got scars all over my head. That's what 20 years in the military will get you. Just lots of scars. Not much else. To, um, I got the piece on. Um, it's on. It actually works. Everything works pretty well. Please subscribe, like, comment, hit the bell. Share it with your friends. I, I wanted this to be an instruction video. Maybe you can watch it and, and, and learn some things.